Hello everyone, this is GSG and I welcome you to this new video. So last time you could have told me in the last video that since I had the headphones on my phone, I hate to cut a Jesus feels it. Uh, well, so I had the earphones mic and not my nice lapel mic. So today I decided to take the DJI Osmo Nano. That way, at least I'm sure the mic works since it's also part of my review. Okay, if you plan to come to China, then you know that now there's no need for a visa. You can come for 30 days. It's visa free. You come, they stamp you for 30 days and you stay 30 days in China. There you go. It's easy. I'm not going to say it's free, but there you go. You just have to come. There are a lot fewer formalities. So some might really want to come. And that's really the case in Shenzhen, where there are more and more tourists. We see families. We see people walking around a bit because they say, yeah, 30 days. Well, first, you need to have 30 days of vacation. But in less than 30 days, you can still do quite a lot of things. So be careful here in China. All the GAFAM are banned and blocked by what they call the Great Chinese Firewall, which means you will have no access to anything from Google. No Google Chrome, no Google Search, no YouTube, no Gmail, no Google Drive, no Google Maps, nothing at all. Similarly, you will not have access to Facebook. You will not have access to Twitter. You will not have access to Netflix. All the big American companies that are part of the gay fam are blocked in China and you really won't have access to them. Yes and no. In fact, if you have, for example, a phone from your country and you use, for example, often there are international plans, sometimes they allow it because they know people will come here. They have a plan from home to come here. It works. If you get a plan here, it doesn't work. So I have read a lot about VPNs and everything. So VPNs, obviously, you will need a VPN, obviously, but not all of them work. And I can speak a bit from experience because I'm not going to say that I have tried them all, but but almost since I did reviews for each VPN, so each VPN, I was able to get it tested, test it in China to realize that, well, it doesn't work. Because yes, China must have partnerships with things like that. But since the servers are in the United States, they didn't want to share. Well, there are several different stories. So as a result, total blockage, nothing gets through. And actually, well, then you'll say yes, but China, well, they have their alternatives for everything. Here, there is WeChat. You can hardly live without WeChat, you know. Here, if you don't have WeChat, you're not, you're not in China, you know. So there, it will allow you to have a kind of Facebook, Facebook, Twitter messaging. Plus, well, you can put your credit card in it. You can pay with WeChat in addition to paying with Alipay. We've already done that in another video. So basically, they have their alternative, so they don't need the Americans. And that's a bit your problem. So the great Chinese firewall was already working quite well, but I won't hide from you that now it must be boosted by AI, which means that, well, for example, sometimes it happened to me with certain VPNs by connecting only to Vietnam. We went to Vietnam. Uh, there it was good. And we managed to connect to the Internet, Gmail, G Drive by going through countries where there were no uh, restrictions once again. But the problem is that well, since the servers are open to a lot of people, from the moment the firewall sees that there are you, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, but maybe even a hundred or two hundred or five hundred IPs who connect to a server in Vietnam. So they see what's happening over there. They see there's YouTube. Bam, boom, it's locked. And I can tell you that with Ghost VPN, it worked a little with Pure VPN too, but not for long. Well, I even have Nord VPN, which is offered with the Revolut card. You know, Revolut, you have a free account, but there's a paid account. And with this paid account, you get uh, Nord VPN for free. So it's not to speak ill or well of it. It's just that they offer it to me. So I use it, except in China where it doesn't work. So Nord VPN made a new announcement saying yeah but we have obfuscated servers that means you set the uh, the setting to tcp uh, in node vpn and then in your server list you have obfuscated servers so they are dedicated for china and bam there you go you connect to them and you especially you don't connect there you go the problem is that well it's a bit of a cat and mouse game it means well yes it might work a little maybe it will work for a short time but the problem is that well the chinese firewall as i told you must be fed with ai it recognizes it easily because once again, there is one, the encryption behind it to the server. And as a result, well, I tried on the entire list available and nothing works. So uh, the problem is that it feels like China is not a priority for NordVPN. We see that their priority is to advertise, to attract the masses. But the small niche of people who are in China, well, they have a solution. But you know, it's not the best. So when I decided to come back here, because you remember, I lived here from 2011 to 2016. Then I stayed in Thailand after COVID. And now I work here and I go to relax a bit from time to time in Thailand. So uh, I was using ClashX is what was somewhat recommended to me. So ClashX is a kind of software that allows you to connect to servers. The problem is you need to have servers. So in China, there are companies that are somewhat specialized in this. That is to say, you contact them on, well, it wasn't me doing it. It was my friend from Geekom. 
because, well, it's a bit of a hassle. So you have to contact them saying, well, I need a server in France and a server in the United States just to have two servers. So they give you a server URL, you put them in Clash X. It's a bit of a complicated setup, really. It's true. I couldn't manage it. I won't hide it from you. Well, I tinker, but you know, I'm not, I'm a bit useless at it. So yeah, I struggled a bit. He gave me two servers, you know, we put them in. But after a while, of course, these servers no longer work. In that case, you contact them again on WeChat saying, oh, the server that is, for example, mine in the United States, because the France server still works, the server in the United States, he might have given it to too many people. It got blocked. So then they give you another one. You pay a subscription every month. It allows you to have something, but there you go. This is really intended for companies that have big needs and require several servers like this and need stability, saying if it doesn't work, they will find you a solution since it's kind of their business. But uh, there you go, it's a bit of a complicated setup. So I went back to my initial VPN, Astril, which I've had since 2012. And it's kind of funny because when you go on Astril, one of the things they highlight saying what they say is that, well, all the guys selling VPNs actually, well, they're bogus. So. What they do is they set up servers, stuff, they give you something that's supposedly specific encryption, but it's integrated into all the servers that are available actually. You know, it's not innovative technologies. And then they're there to sell to the masses, the masses, the masses. You see NordVPN, you hear about it everywhere. Once again, they sell you the benefits and drawbacks of a VPN and all that, saying you need to have one. Yes, it's interesting if you travel connected with public Wi-Fi, all that, all that. But there you go. You can clearly feel that encryption like that. Even if they have solutions that are nice, you quickly see, thanks to China, well, the system's limits. So I noted what they say about it. The majority of VPNs on the market are created by companies without real technical expertise. It's clean. They just use weak servers and non-optimized turnkey VPN software. However, they state that Astral, on the contrary, deploys high-end specialized servers configured for China, implements encrypted protocols invisible to the great firewall filter. They have an experimental technical team active for 10 years. And this experimentation explains why Astral continues to work where others fail. And of course, you might say, yeah, but it's marketing. Yes, but it works. The problem is that it works. So quite interestingly, at the beginning, I had installed it. I was using, well, another SIM card with a gateway, everything to make myself believe I was elsewhere and all. But it costs me, it costs me a lot in terms of bandwidth. I connected and when I installed it, actually, we had a VPN with many, many, many countries. Right? Once again. Then, uh, so I had installed it on my phone. Then. I installed it on my Mac. And there, however, I was accessing Wi-Fi, my home Wi-Fi, Chinese Wi-Fi. And there, when I installed it, I realized that the servers were no longer the same. They removed all the other servers that are United States, stuff and all. And the first five are servers dedicated to China. We have United States for China 1, United States for China 2, United States for China 3, Hong Kong for China, Singapore for China. So you get the idea. It's that, in fact, the thing when you install it, well, I haven't tried to uninstall them. I turn it off, close it with, there you go. The main thing is that it works. But they really have servers dedicated to China. And sometimes I won't hide it. I usually use USA China 3. Sometimes it doesn't work well. I switch to two again. And I realize that sometimes, for example, when I switch to two, I don't have access to Google services, you know, like AdSense, AdWords and all. It's blocked. There you go. And when I switch to three, it works. It means we can really see that they are not the same servers, but they have a plethora dedicated to China. You should know that inadvertently, I tried one in the United States just like that. And once again, well, it works. There you go. Not all. Once again, don't forget to say that I didn't say it. It works. Some work. Once again, it clearly proves that their encryption to get out of here is really special and allows connecting to some of their servers because, once again, as he explains, it's the expertise. Well, important thing already. It's hot. Damn. In the month of October, it's hot as hell. I'm back in flip-flops. There you go. Well, yeah, you know, an important thing. VPN sites are obviously blocked in China. That means if you go to astril.com from here, NordVPN, GhostVPN, whatever, they are blocked. To access them, you need a VPN. So you buy a VPN to not... There you go. So plan ahead before leaving. If I were you, I would... Con I, you create an account on Astril or not once again. So the prices for those who are wondering, I don't take the actually, well, NordVPN is free. You know, we're not going to complain either. But uh, I, well, if I take just one, I only take Astril because more works with it. So if you take it for just one month, it's $30. So it's extremely expensive because it's only for one month, but it works. There you go. There's something for two or three euros per month, four euros and four months free and all. It doesn't work. Poof, there you go. Uh, 15 euros per month if you take it for a year. Well, $15 per month if you take it for a year. So it's still rather, but I'm doing well.
Now, $15 per month if you take it for a year, so they'll charge $180, you get it, or $12.50 if you take it for two years. So if, like me, you say to yourself, yeah, that's just what I need, uh, $12, so they charge you only once, it's a bit high. So you log in, you download the files, the .exe files for your PC, and possibly .dmg for your Mac. Keep them well on your computer, because if eventually when you start, you will install it at home, you will only have the list, you realize that in China, you only have the list, and at the very bottom of this list, you have the for China. But you would prefer to have only this list, you can uninstall and reinstall it. Because, so, I saw, for example, uh, even from China, you can, for example, from the phone, from the Apple Store, from the Apple Store, you can download Astril. On the other hand, if you don't have an account, they will ask you to create one. So I don't know if, if, if Apple will charge you directly. The best thing is really to do it before leaving. I'm not going to tell you to give. No, 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 no. I have affiliate links for all the VPNs because I am registered with all of them. But once again, Astral is the only one that works everywhere in the world. And before, which has real expertise, apparently real encryption, and especially works in China. And for me, that's the most important in short, when I arrived in China in 2011 and needed a VPN, this was the one recommended to me because they said, look, these guys specialize in China, in encryption. And I can tell you that if they manage to get through the Chinese firewall, they're the right ones. Because the others, I'm not saying the others can't do it, but the others don't spend as much money on, once again, a small niche. They certainly prefer to target all the YouTubers on the internet and have all the average guys who will install it to connect in Belgium or wherever, you know, to use it not really. You see, just needing the minimum and that this VPN is enough. However, if you want something a bit more serious, well, it is clear to me that Astral is somewhat the solution. I am putting the link directly in the description for Astral. Don't forget to, to install it maybe before leaving. 30 bucks. I promise you that when you get here, all your Gmail services, Gmap, no, 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 oh, Maps, Maps work on uh, iPhone, on iPhone and on Mac, Maps work. And Bing, however, you will have bing.com.cn. You will have the Chinese Bing version, but it allows you to have an alternative search engine and Maps. And otherwise, I think it's a map that works very, very well here. You can also download it before leaving, but there will be quite a few videos like this on China. If you have questions, comments, suggestions to put directly, comments through suggestions, you put all that directly. This thing, I tried to make a mode at the top because I should also do the Boya microphone. I might come back here because it's convenient. You see the buildings in China, there are way too many floors and uh, there's a floor like that where there are things for kids. Uh, uh, people, they hang their laundry. Uh, and then there are things for exercising and over there, there are kids screaming, that's it. This is real life. And over there, there's a guy sleeping I saw on a table. There you go. Well, thank you for stopping by to see me, like every day. Thank you for stopping by to see me. So like every day, all thumbs are allowed. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Don't forget, as your mother would say, don't miss a thing. Prove her right, and especially them, really, really don't come to China without this. You'll quickly struggle. If like me, you have a Gmail or a G Drive or you watch YouTube, or you watch Netflix, or you look at your Facebook, there you go. All the things you're used to doing daily, well, you'll quickly realize that without it you can live, but it's complicated. In the long run, it's complicated. There you go. Even just to help with reservations, things like that and all, there you go. It can quickly become complicated. All right, thank you for stopping by to see me. It's a pleasure. Have a great day. Bye-bye.